yogurt making CEO. But when it comes to how we grow and eat, we're overdue for a cure and some really bad practices have got to go. So, America was built on farms that looked like this. But 60 years or so ago, things started to switch to modern agriculture. But now here is the hitch. A million family farms went under while big business got rich. The foods we eat today mostly don't come from the farm. It's time to get up off our butts, stand up, and sound the alarm. Yeah, the cheap stuff is addictive, and that is their charm. But big agribusiness profits shouldn't be causing us harm. You get the convenience, big brands rake in the wealth. But what's the point when this stuff is really bad for your health? Look at the meals on your table. Decipher them if you're able. What are those really long words you can't pronounce on the label? So take a look at your food and then decide what you want. Then speak up at supermarkets and the restaurants. Make some noise, make a change. No more accepting defeat. You know the adage is true. You are what you eat. So if you love your body, love your children, and you love your planet, there is hope for the future, so there's no need to panic. The solution is a simple one. It's easy to understand and to protect your family, body, and earth. Just eat organic. Plaything as these complicated labels may be. The really scary stuff is what we cannot see. Chemical fertilizers, pesticides, hormones, drugs, and herbicides accumulating in our earth as well as in our inside. Got poisons in our soil, poisons in our air, poisons in our water supply. It doesn't stop there. They're everywhere. You can't just wash them off of the skin. They're in the fruit and veggie cells. Yeah, they're buried within. Cows are grown in feedlots with no pasture or grass. Stuff full of corn, they burp out methane gas. They're herbivores, not carnivores. They should be in the fields, but the big guys don't care. They only care about yields. These animals are in manure, up to their knees, hopped up on antibiotics so they don't get diseased. Then the drugs don't work for us, so see, we need this to stop. It's no more difficult than reading labels when you go shop. So if you love your body, love your children, and you love your planet, there is hope for the future. These trends have been pretty sad. Cancer rates are steadily rising, and kids and moms and dads. A baby born in Birmingham, Boise Bend, or Boston now has in her cord blood almost 300 toxins. The U.S. Cancer Panel study makes me ill at ease, 'cause 41% of us will get this disease. Cut out unnecessary chemicals is what they prescribe. So to avoid getting sick, just change the stuff you imbibe. Future generations will wonder and probably say, "We had a beautiful planet. Why did we throw it away?" The alternative is clear. Let's bring organic to fruition. It's not just good for the earth; it gives better nutrition. So let's face up to what we need to do. There's no need to cower. Change is possible. Consumers really have all the power. Buy smart, support organic family farms is the aim. 'Cause when we choose to buy organic, we can change the whole game. So if you love.